unbelievable. Loyal supporters, my incredibly talented staff, and Cindy McCain. To all my friends, you have not only helped make tonight possible, you have made the journey memorable and fun. For a guy that came to Arizona 36 years ago with nothing but a beat up old Dotson, it means a lot to stand before you tonight and call all of you friends. And boy, we have come a long way together. Four years ago, our economy was stagnant. Our state budget was broken, and our public education system was mired in lawsuits. Today, our economy is booming. We've got more jobs available than we have people to fill them. Our budget, we've gone from a $1 billion deficit to a $1 billion surplus. And while there is work left to be done in K-12 education, we are thrilled that our teachers are finally getting the raise they deserve and that our kids are leading the nation in academic gains. The progress, the progress our state has made None of it could have happened without people coming together and working together. Not only at our capital, but across this state, business leaders, education champions, community leaders, nonprofits, teachers, parents, principals, everyone putting aside their differences on issue after issue and getting positive things done. After winning a second term of his own, it was Ronald Reagan who called Americans one people under God, dedicated to the dream of freedom that he has placed in every human heart. In that spirit, we go forward. If you voted for me, thank you. If you didn't, I want you to know, I work for you. My goal these past four years has been to be a governor of all the people, without regard for party affiliation, who you are, or where life finds you, and that won't change. To my fellow Republicans and our friends on the Democratic side of the aisle, we are all Arizonans. We are all Americans. We celebrate tonight, and tomorrow we get to work. And it's work we will do together, putting the campaign behind us and letting politics stand down. And if we do, we can keep the momentum in Arizona going to grow our economy, improve public education, protect public safety, expand opportunity for all, and secure Arizona's future. <laughs> finally, finally, I want to congratulate everyone who put their name on a ballot this year. Running for office and entering public life isn't easy, not on the candidate, and certainly not on their family. No matter the outcome, the candidates have contributed to giving Arizonans a choice and a voice, and for that we're grateful. Now there's still a lot of votes out there to be counted, and a lot of results that are outstanding, so we're all going to be watching very closely I want to say thank you again for all the hard work 
all of you have done to make this a successful election cycle. I am forever grateful. Thank you, good night, and God bless.